Almost all ethnic Armenians have now fled Nagorno-Karabakh after Azerbaijan seized control of the country. In response, Armenian Australians will hold protests outside four embassies in Canberra today, calling for international intervention. Joining us now is the chairperson of the Armenian National Committee of Australia, Varche Karamanian. And Varche, thank you for joining us. You're expecting up to 500 people today, a big turnout. What is your message? Thank you, Gemma, and thank you for having me. Today, the Armenian-Australian community will gather in Canberra to raise our voice against the ethnic cleansing by Azerbaijan of 120,000 Indigenous Armenians from the region of nagorno karabakh Excuse me. And can you tell us about this situation that has led to almost all ethnic Armenians fleeing this region? Certainly. Azerbaijan last week launched a military action against the indigenous civilian population in the Republic of nagorno karabakh also known as the Republic of Artsakh. This military, military incursion, along with the real threat of ethnic cleansing, forced 120,000 indigenous, indigenous Armenians to flee for safety into the Republic of Armenia, which today has caused a humanitarian crisis on the ground, where these people have nothing but the shirts on, the back, on their backs which, with, they, with which they left the region. So it's a very heartbreaking and stressful time for you here in Australia. Do you have relatives or friends caught up in this and have you or others been able to get in contact with people over there? Um, a lot of members of the community here on the ground have relatives, have friends on the ground there and are in regular contact. The Armenian-Australian community through the Armenian Relief Society and other organisations are providing humanitarian assistance on the ground in the Republic of Armenia to help these displaced peoples, our Armenian brothers and sisters during a very difficult time. We're, we're entering the winter months in the Northern Hemisphere and these people have no homes, no clothing. They've been deprived of food, water, shelter for the last 10 months as Azerbaijan has systematically attempted to cleanse the region of the indigenous Armenian population. You're protesting at the embassies today. Which embassies and, and what is the message to them? Today, the Armenian-Australian community will gather in front of the Turkish, the Russian, the American and also the Azerbaijani embassies to raise the community's voice of protest as an attempted ethnic cleansing is underway on the ground in real time. After the Holocaust, the international community said never again. But today, in the 21st century, we are witnessing that same ethnic cleansing, the same genocide which the international community attempted to put a stop happening once again to the Armenian people. We saw this over a hundred years ago in 1915 during the Armenian genocide. Today we're seeing the same perpetrators try to write the same history again in front of the eyes of the international community. And as we protest today, we also call on the Australian government to join its international allies in providing urgent humanitarian assistance to people on the ground in Armenia through the International Red Cross and also to undertake sanctions against Azerbaijan because we cannot allow these brutal war crimes to continue. And Vata, you're a proud Armenian Australian. Tell us how difficult it is to see what's happening there from half a world away. It's harrowing. You know, you watch the news, you see the photos on Twitter, you see innocent children deprived of their childhood, you see the elderly being displaced from their own homes, you see lives being shattered for no other reason than a brutal dictator's wish to systematically cleanse the Armenian people from the region of nagorno karabakh Varte Karamanian, Chairperson of the Armenian National Committee of Australia. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Gemma.